Amy Lou live for us. Thank you for that update here on your screen as well. We have another live look showing you Florida's coast. Yeah, this is part of the West Coast there. Um, you can see some of the rain starting to pick up from that camera. And of course, you can see the radar behind Brian as well in the right uh, corner of your screen. Brian, this is really strengthened a lot overnight. Very much so. And I mean, before the five o'clock update yesterday morning, it was still a tropical storm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we're talking about a category four hurricane that's moving in and making landfall over the next couple hours. I think after seven and before eight today, that storm surge that Amy just mentioned could be as high as eight to 16 feet along a, a narrow stretch of coast ahead of where that uh, eye wall is going to make landfall and just to the right of that too. So very bad situation for northern Florida. The entire state really inundated with these rain bands and squalls that have been coming in. Uh, the uh, I-10 corridor that continues to be an issue. So where does this go from here? Uh, once the storm moves inland, it's not going to suddenly change its track. It's still moving north northeast at a pretty good clip. It will begin to weaken though, and I still think it remains hurricane strength for much of the morning as we go into the afternoon and evening. Uh, we could especially later Later this evening, uh, storms um, winds could weaken to tropical storm strength, especially if that center remains over land. Right around this point, we'll start to see a few squalls moving in. I anticipate the earliest arrival of that, uh, apart from a couple of showers that we've seen in the mountains this morning, uh, will be during the afternoon hours. The best chance for rain here, and especially for the southern eastern Piedmont, begins this evening and will end very early tomorrow morning once the center of the storm passes by. You can see the heaviest part of the storm is going to be in the Raleigh area through Wilmington through Greenville and coastal communities in the I-95 corridor and that will linger for a good while into Thursday before it begins to pull away. So for us, our main impact window is going to be tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning uh, this time it should be winding down if it's not over already. As far as conditions go, I mentioned a couple of sprinkles in the mountains, temperatures upper 60s and lower 70s locally. Flood watches have been posted uh, across much of the state. We'll talk about that in a moment. High temperatures should be in the lower 80s today and today is relatively dry and the winds won't really pick up until later on tonight. Again, that northern edge is what could bring us some problems across the southern areas. If it stays a little bit this track to the right, uh, then we're in good shape. If it moves a little bit to the left, we could extend this farther north, but it's been pretty consistently bringing us into the I-85 corridor uh, later today. Uh, we could see perhaps an inch of rain or more across our southern areas, perhaps in Montgomery County up to one to three inches. They are under a flood watch and then they should clear out pretty quickly tomorrow. The strongest wind field will move inland through coastal Georgia and South Carolina, but notice that we don't get into that tropical storm force a wind um, range except for maybe the gusts. I think gusts overnight and early tomorrow could be as high as 30 to 40 miles per hour and because of the duration of that it could take down some trees and maybe cause some minor outages. The wind field will be more impactful than the rain will be for the rest of the area outside of our southern area. So that's something that we will be watching and then things begin to improve uh, as we head into tomorrow. Seven day forecast on uh, not much rain. We've lowered our rain chance for Thursday due to the accelerated storm by late Thursday. Friday, the weather turns beautiful. Still breezy though on Thursday. We're back in the 80s. This weekend should be a really nice holiday weekend. Hopefully locally we won't have much cleanup to do.